the landscape tool in Luminar Neo includes three powerful sliders, the Haze, Golden Hour and Foliage Enhancer. Now, if you never tried before, then this tutorial is exactly what you need as I'm going to show you how to get the most out of this tool. Well, and with that, it's time to move into Luminar Neo, where we starting in the catalog module. Now, as always, we are starting by looking at our sample files. So as you will see, we have a three important sliders in the landscape tool. So we need three sample files. Now, as always, if you want to follow me along, then jump into the description of this video, download the sample files there, import them into Luminar Neo, and we can start. Now, it doesn't matter which one you select, uh, but do select one. And let's go and move into the editing module. Now, in the edit module, to access the landscape tool, we need to be focusing on our main editing toolbar. And since it's called landscape tool, we should go into the landscape section. Here, one, two, three, and fourth one from the top is the landscape tool. Now to access it, open it, just click on it, just like on any other tools in the application. Let's make it nice and visible, something like this. And before we start, let's ask our friend Lumibot to tell us more about this tool. Thank you, Jakub, and hello, everyone. Let's take a quick look at the landscape tool in Luminar Neo, perfect for enhancing nature, travel, or real estate photos with just a few targeted sliders. Use dehaze to cut through fog, haze, or glare, especially in cityscapes and misty scenes. Then, add warmth and glow with Golden Hour to recreate that magical sunrise or sunset vibe. And for lush scenery, the foliage enhancer makes greens pop while keeping them natural. Want more control? You can even fine-tune the exact shade of green with the foliage hue slider. Need more editing help? I'm always available at cleverphotographer.com slash Lumibot. Now over to Jakub to show you how it all works in action. Well, thank you very much. Exactly. It's time to look at the different controllers and apply them to our photos. So from the top, we have the dehaze slider. Now the dehaze slider, how it works? Well, it dehaze the image, right? Because sometimes a little bit of fog and mist is nice and sometimes maybe not. So this will give you a chance to remove it by basically applying blend of contrast, clarity, and color adjustments. Now, the easiest way to understand it is to use it. Let's go ahead, take the slider and increase it all the way up. So as you can see, it did a pretty good job. It brought some of the color back and I just made it a little bit cleaner. Now, 100 is too much, but you can kind of move it around and see what it does to the photo. So that's the dehaze. Now we will come back to dehaze, but uh, for the time being, let's just leave it and let's select another photo where we can try and test the golden hour slider. For this, let's go to our film strip here, select the image from the beautiful Paris with the Eiffel Tower and again into landscape section, landscape tool. And here we're going to be focusing on the golden hour slider. What it does by increasing it, it add some warmth, softness, and golden hour glow. Now, where it does the glow? Well, it adds the glow into the highlights of the image. And again, the easiest way to see it is to increase it. So let's go ahead and start increasing it. Usually around, I would say, maybe like 30 to 50 works really well. You can see it's very gentle, still very natural. But you can go all over the board and increasing it up to 100 where you starting to or you will start to notice the golden glow in other areas, maybe not so bright areas, and it may work for you. It really is up to you. But this is what it does. Golden hour slider adds the warmth, softness and golden glow in the highlights of your image. I quite like to use this, actually. I think it's a great slider. Finally, we have the foliage enhancer. Now, on this image, there is a little bit of foliage. You could try it here. But actually, let's go ahead and select our third example or third sample file. Again, landscape 
tool. Let's do this and uh, let's go into foliage enhancer. What it does? Well, let's go ahead and try. Let's increase it all the way, which will be way overboard, but basically it makes the greens more vivid and natural. Of course, this is way overboard, but at least you see what it does. Now, what I would do for this image, I would probably apply it quite gently, maybe around 30, and just bring some of the colors back. Now, the foliage enhancer is a special slider because it has a little brother here, and it's called foliage hue. The foliage hue allows you to modify the hue of the foliage. Now, to see it, let's increase the enhancer just so you can see the colors clearly. And then, you know, let's just take the slider and move it around. And as we move it around, you will see how the foliage changes colors. Now, generally, I leave it on zero. But when I'm working with autumn colors, I think it's quite cool to take the slider and bring it a little bit down. Can you see how it just adds a little bit of that yellow and brown into these trees? I think it works quite well. Now you can really push it down, but then it's not really natural. But Yes, if you do it gently, I would say around that maybe like minus 40 or minus 30, it can work really well on autumn subject. But of course, you can just reset it by double clicking on it and just adjust it to your liking, somewhere around 38. Now to really finish the tool, once you use any of the sliders, you will get additional options on the top including this eye icon, which will let you see the before and after. And of course, the little arrow, which will allow you to reset the tool. Finally, the third option, little eye icon, which will tell you more about the tool and pretty much repeat what I just showed you and told you. Now, finally, we should talk about masking. So let's go back to this photo here. Let's just reset it. I think we don't have anything applied to it, but revert to original and into the landscape section, landscape tool, and let's increase the dehaze. Now, I like the fact that we're getting some details on the woman or on the subject, but actually I don't like that we lose the haze everywhere. So maybe we just want to apply this effect more to the center or to this part of the image. To do that, well, we can go into the masking and we can use a number of tools here. We could use, for example, the radial gradient. You can just click on it and then just drag the gradient around. So let's say that we position it over here. Once you drag it there, you can also make it a little bit more narrow. So just kind of pushing it around like this. And the way the radial gradient work is it has a pretty much three zones, the one really in the middle, then the one or the second one, and the finally the third one outside of the circle. How it works, the middle circle, that's where 100% of the effect is applied to your photo. Then that is the second circle where it starts from 100% and goes all the way to zero here. So it's like a gradient from 100% down to 50 and down to zero. And anything outside of the circle has zero um, mask on it means that the effect will not be applied there at all. So uh, once you're happy with it, you can just push it around. So let's say we position it over the subject. And when happy, click on the little arrow and return. So with that, if we have a look at the before and after, the effect is only applied to her. Now, this is way too strong. So we need to go back to adjustments and just bring it down a little bit. I'm thinking around here. And this now looks natural and gentle before and after. Now, don't forget that just like any of the tool in Luminar Neo, you can use it several times. You don't have to just use it once. So if I reset this, and let's say that the amount of dehaze isn't strong enough, you would like to dehaze even further. You can close the landscape tool, then click on it to open it again and apply it again and apply even more of the dehaze. And you can do this with the golden hour, foliage enhancer and all the other tools. So folks, this is it. This is how you use the very powerful landscape tool here in Luminar Neo. But but don't stop here. We actually have a video for every single tool in this application on our YouTube channel at Clever Photographer. And really keep moving forward on your photo editing journey.